It's hard to believe we've had our 2018 Pleasure Way Ascent for over two years now. Time flies when you're having fun, and we've had loads of it. So I think every once in a while, you have to go back and look at old videos and update them or kind of uh, correct the record. And so today I'm doing just that. Uh, just over a year ago, I did a video called Why We Chose the Pleasure Way Ascent and the Things That We Would Like to See Changed. And indeed, in the last two years, a lot has changed on both the Mercedes chassis as well as on the Pleasure Way side. So I'm going to go through those today. So on the Mercedes chassis, I would say the biggest change is the entire front console. Oh, and look at the cup holders. Wow. <laughs> Did you see these, John? Look at those cup holders. Now here's the cup holder that comes with the, the older chassis. And this is... Not the best for large drinks. So that's why we added this little device and that holds our cups much better. But what a difference between this and the new chassis. Uh, one of the frustrating things about the Mercedes is that we have to use a key, but the new Mercedes has a uh, has an automatic start, you know, a, a push button start, and that is terrific. It's also a push button start instead of a key start. And instead of a glove box, they have this little uh, little shelf. There's a nice little oh, uh, iPad at, wireless okay. charging station, and you know the the USB chargers up front, yeah. the smart charge. Now smart. that doesn't look like a USB. It's the new USB. Is it a C? No. Uh, yeah, Mercedes. This is from Mercedes. Okay. In this condition. So they have changed it. Yes, they significantly. have. This is the comfort chair. So what? Uh, for starters, we can extend the seat base. Yeah. So for people with longer legs, they like this, so they get more yeah. support up to their their knee yeah. area. So that's a manual thing. It's going to go in. To swivel it, we're going to just unlock the swivel. Mm -hmm. Then we have to use the electric. Oh, it's electric to move yeah, it forward. Yeah. So okay. we're going to we're going to push, okay. push it forward so it clears the door. Gotcha. And then a little bit more. Oops. <laughs> okay. And there we go. There and you then, go. of course, it's electric recline. Uh, you can raise yeah. the seat electrically. One thing I did not mention in the earlier video was the that I thought they needed to have an automatic sliding door. The sliding door can be a bit of a challenge when it's on a hill, and so it's really nice that they've added that feature. However. I don't really think that the automatic uh, front seats are really helpful because to turn the seat around, it takes a lot more, I think, um, well, it takes a lot longer and you have to keep pushing the button and moving it uh, to get the seat moved either front or backwards. I like the fact that ours is super fast and easy to flip around. Mercedes still doesn't have armrests on the door side of the front chairs. However, they have made some changes to the seat itself and it, uh, and it was quite comfortable when we tried it out at the show. We took care of the armrest issue just by adding these little elbow friends, they're called. With the, uh, oh. it's actually got a GPS system yeah. that works. <laughs> Right. Oh, did I? Yeah. Well, we, we switched ours out, That's so fine, yeah. yeah. Um, so this is neat. You can see, you know, here's your smartphone connection, so you can set up your phones. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. The navigation. Phones that you won't be able to use in Canada, but. <laughs> well, with the right plan, you can, yeah. Um, the radio, uh, AM, FM, XM radio. Um, serious. Serious, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, we have all that now, but not on this beautiful sure. console. Because, yeah, you yeah. might change that. On the pleasure way side, I had mentioned things like the air conditioner, the storage of the boards for the bed, the table mount, 
uh, the fact that they needed a light above the stove, the uh, refrigerator, the faucet, the microwave, uh, the lack of a spare tire, and bedding. So let's go through the things that they did change. Well, for one thing, they changed the faucet on the sink, which is really terrific. The sink is a huge upgrade. It's much larger than the older one. And the faucet now comes down as a, a spray spout. That is really amazing. It's huge. There is still not a light above the stove, and perhaps there is some um, reason uh, that they're not allowed to do that. And in fact, uh, I learned a lot speaking to both uh, both Dean and Grant at the Pleasure Way sh at the California RV show. And uh, there are certain regulations and restrictions that a master upfitter has when they're changing these, those, these chassis into a camper van. So it could be that they can't do it for those reasons. But uh, one thing I think they can do without a problem is to magnetize the stainless steel plate that sits above the uh, stove because that would make it easier to attach any kind of, you know, you could put a hook up there that you could hang a pot holder or a towel or, or you know, something uh, that you could hook to that uh, magnet. Even spice, uh, little, those little magnetic spice jars, that would be nice. I mentioned uh, the refrigerator. Um, it would be nice to have a compressor refrigerator instead of a three-way fridge. And it is nice to see that Pleasure Way is now putting a compressor fridge into their, their builds on the Ford chassis. And perhaps down the road, there will be an option for that in their other vehicles. Over the last, uh, the first year that we had the vehicle, we had quite a few issues with the MCD shades. Um, and I even did a video on how to redo the tension in them and, and get them put back. Uh, but apparently MCD has made some changes to their shade so that it is uh, easier to, um, so that it, it holds its position better. And in fact, the, the new, la instead of using Velcro to hold the uh, MCD shades down, Pleasure Way now uses magnets. And we had those installed um, soon after we learned about them. But now it's almost um, a moot issue because I have replaced those with my own warm window curtains. Except for the one on the sliding door, we still have that MCD shade. We still use that occasionally. And here's a change that MCD made to their shades. Uh, Dean says that they now have a metal part in here that, that helps it to catch where it needs to catch. Um, so that's, that's an improvement. And this table, you still running? This table is now based on the lagoon, um, the lagoon base, so it swivels around like this. Can you see one of those in your future? <laughs> yeah, this this might actually help with my editing, so that I'm not sitting in such awkward positions because I'm getting <laughs> bad neck and back pains. So that's great. Another difference is that they no longer have that swing out uh, arm here. They've extended this a little bit to accommodate that larger sink. And then on this side, they now have a Bose speaker below the television. It still comes with the uh, Blu-ray player, which we've never used, um, but, and it, does it seem like, is the layout the same, John? Actually, I think they've added a second plug. Yeah, they've added, so there are now two plugs in here instead of one. So, interesting. The other thing that they still have not solved is the cup holder issue in the back of the vehicle. Uh, there's just no place for passengers in the back to put any kind of drinks. Now we have solved that, sort of solved it, with these, uh, with these little trays that slip between the wall and the cushions. And that's helpful, but I still think 
uh, cup holders in the back would really be nice. We still do not really use our microwave for anything other than storage. Um, I'm sure they will always have a microwave in their rigs and some of the other rigs have a convection microwave combination which I think would actually be more useful for us. But what I'd really like to see is the option of having no microwave in there, but just a kind of a, uh, an appliance garage. So you could store maybe a blender or a toaster or things like that in that opening. Um, that would give us a lot more storage. Something I did not ask for in the previous video, but now looking back in an extra year, I think would be helpful, is some way to attach a cell booster to an antenna that sits on top of the vehicle. The, um, the way we've done it is just to kind of fish a wire through the refrigerator opening. Um, that's okay, but we taped it down with some gaffer's tape and it doesn't look, you know, as downtown as it could. So it would be really nice if they had a, a real simple little opening or something where we could, we could stick the outside antenna up and leave it permanently on the top of the van. I mentioned in the previous video that the hooks that held the two boards that make the bed into a bed, they sit behind the driver's seat and I mentioned that they weren't very secure. Well, those have changed completely and the new mounts look like they are quite robust. I also wanna point out the difference here with uh, the way these two boards that connect between the ottomans to make the bed. This is a completely new clip. So uh, that's going to hold those boards uh, much more securely. That's a really nice change. I don't remember if I mentioned this in the last video or not, but one thing I would love to see is uh, a better manual, a better owner's manual, and also in that manual, maybe a, maybe a CD that includes uh, actual individual videos on how every component works. I think that uh, especially a new owner it takes a while to get used to these new components and, um, and perhaps even include some troubleshooting tips for new owners because a lot of times we think that something's wrong with something but it turns out it was just you know owner operator error. So it would be really nice if they completely updated the owner's manual. I mentioned the lack of a spare tire and we have solved that problem because we got uh, all of our tires changed. We went to a heavier duty, more aggressive tire when we did the suspension upgrade from Agile Off-Road, which we are incredibly happy with. We, this week we're going back to Agile Off-Road and they are going to install a mount where we can have both the spare tire as well as our e-bikes. Um, so I'll show you that in coming weeks. Next week we're going we're gonna to to uh, meet up with a couple that has been viewing the channel and they have a brand new 2020 Pleasure Way Ascent. So we're going to get their take on the side of things and also uh, go, they have the same e-bikes we have so we're going to go for a nice bike ride around Anzaborrego. I think I've covered everything that I mentioned in the previous video and I can't think of any other changes that I would make to this vehicle. From Bolsa Chica State Beach Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.